That's good. Thank you. My apologies for starting a, a few minutes late. I had um, people from the east coast of the country ringing from half seven about the snow, but uh, we'd see. We're blessed in Galway. Uh, to get proceedings underway, I'll ask um, Mary Rogers, Head of Department for Building and Civil Engineering here at the GMIT, uh, just to formally welcome you to the conference. Thank you. Aina Hemula, a green Ushla, Bolamorin the Institute, Bolgero of Galer, Wigan Green Usha, on Thrur International Construction Management Day. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, students of the Institute, on behalf of the Department of Building and Civil Engineering, I welcome you all to GMIT today for our third annual International Construction Management Day conference. International Construction Management Day is a worldwide initiative supported by the Chartered Institute of Building, the International Project Management Association, and the Construction, Man Construction Management Associations of America, Holland, Japan, Korea, and Spain. Today's event has been kindly sponsored by the Western Centre for the Chartered Institute of Building and the Western Branch of the Society of the Charters, Chartered Surveyors Ireland. These organisations represent over 7,000 professional members in the construction industry here in Ireland. This year GMIT celebrates its 40th anniversary and during this time we've had very close working links with the construction industry, particularly the local branch of the CIF and we greatly value their support in relation to student work placements which has continued even in difficult times. We have a very broad and interesting listing for today's conference and the format has changed slightly this year to include three themed breakout sessions to facilitate face-to-face -face engagement between staff, students, graduates, members of the public and our industry partners and specialists. The sessions will focus on three areas, construction technical, surveying technical and property and general practice. Architect Miles Sampson, a specialist in sustainable design, will just share his experiences in the design of passive and low energy housing. John Enyan, a UK based consultant in building information modelling, will present his vision for the potential transformation of building design and management using the highly accurate 3D computer models. And Michael Kerwin from BBS Software will give a presentation on BuildSoft on screen takeoff, BT2 an advanced software program that aids the speedy combination of bills of quantities and costings for construction projects. The Department of Building and Civil Engineering has already introduced BIM, BuildSoft and Passive House Design into both its undergraduate and postgraduate programs in recognition of, of its global importance. We're also offering a BIM certificate through the Springboard program. We have a master's student undertaking research in the area of BIM and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank, thank Paul Carey of Carey Construction for facilitating us with the Tume Ambulance Centre as a case study for this project. The new BN Honours in Civil Engineering also has modules in BIM and is intended as part of the school review for next year to develop a suite of modules in the department to ensure that all our built environment students and graduates leave this into at the Institute competent in the area of BIM processes. Anybody who has worked in the construction area knows what a diverse, fulfilling and enjoyable career the industry offers. Graduates who enter the marketplace with the correct profile of sustainable construction, technological and IT skills will find employment even in these lean times. Many of our 2012 graduates have successfully gained employment in Ireland and only last week another group were employed by a large multinational company to create a virtual module of their heating and ventilation systems um, for their facility. The use of new technologies allows companies to export the service rather than the graduate to the worldwide construction market. Our first session today is an overview of the construction industry presented by John O'Regan, Director of Davis Langdon. He will outline the Irish situation and potential opportunities for Irish companies abroad. And this will be followed by a presentation from Celine McHugh of Forfoss, who will outline a strategy for rebuilding the construction industry. I'd like to take, the, take this opportunity to thank and commend our conference organiser, Mr. Martin Taggart, for freely giving of his time 
for his determination and his continued dedication to this event, which has made this day possible. I would now call on Martin Taggart, our chair for today's conference, to present our first speaker. Thank you.